years, Bill Clinton's long history of disturbing sexual abuse allegations. It has taken almost 30 years for the left, the liberal, destroy Trump media, to finally start admitting Bill Clinton targeted women for decades with criminal impunity. Take a look at this headline from a liberal publication. A little late, The Atlantic, Bill Clinton, a reckoning. Feminists saved the 42nd president of the United States in the 1990s. They were on the wrong side of history. Is it finally time to make things right? Yes, it's beyond time. And then there's this op-ed from the New York Times that has a headline, quote, I believe Juanita, but that's not all. Members of the mainstream media, they're even starting to realize that what Bill Clinton did was beyond disgraceful. His conduct should never, ever, ever have been defended in the first place. What do you see some of the some of the tape we have for you tonight? Look at this tweet. Give him credit. Chris Hayes over at MSNBC. As gross and cynical and hypocritical as the rights, well, what about Bill Clinton stuff is? It's also true. Democrats and the center left are overdue for a real reckoning with the allegations against him. Take a look at what CNN's Jake Tapper had to say. Watch this. The accusers uh, of Bill Clinton back in the 90s uh, were never given the credence and uh, treated with the same respect uh, that these women are being treated. Uh, and I think that there is something to be said about how society has evolved since then. But in addition, it's hard not to look back at that period and think, you know what, the media treated those, poor, those women poorly. Now, some of the media are coming to terms with what they did and what they said and how they covered it all up because what they did, the things they did to protect Bill Clinton and discredit at a high level his accusers is beyond indefensible. It is shameful. Let me explain. You're not going to see this anywhere else on television. Back in 1992, during the presidential primaries, remember the name Jennifer Flowers? She went public. She revealed she had a 12-year affair with Bill Clinton. She even released tape phone conversations to deal with the allegation. What did the Clinton do, campaign do? They set up a war room and sprung into action. Their job to smear and discredit Jennifer Flowers and Bill and Hillary. And they go on 60 Minutes, lie, deny the charges. And what did they do? They attacked Jennifer Flowers' character. Watch this. She's a legend and is described in some detail in a supermarket tabloid, which she calls a 12-year affair with you. It, that allegation is false. When this woman first got caught up in these charges, I felt, as I felt about all of these women, that, you know, they've just been minding their own business and they got hit by a meteor. I mean, it was no fault of their own. Uh, we reached out to them. I met with two of them to reassure them they were friends of ours. I felt terrible about what was happening to them. You know, Bill talked to this woman every time she called distraught, saying her life was going to be ruined. And, you know, he'd get off the phone and tell me that she said sort of wacky things, which we thought were attributable to the fact that she was terrified. I'm assuming from your answer that you're categorically denying that you ever had an affair with Jennifer Flowers. I've said that before, uh, and so is she. I've said that before, and so is she. They were lying. And because he later had to admit during a deposition, he finally admitted during the Monica Lewinsky case that he did, in fact, have that sexual encounter with Jennifer Flowers. And then there's Hillary Clinton. That was only the beginning of her attempts to smear her husband's accusers, to further attack Flowers. Hillary Clinton told Vanity Fair, watch this, well, if we'd been in front of a jury, I'd say, Miss Flowers, isn't it true you were asked by the AP in June of 1990 and you said no? Weren't you asked by the Arkansas Democrat and you said no? I mean, I would crucify her. Really, Hillary? Crucify her? And it gets worse. In his book about Hillary, Carl Bernstein, of all people, wrote that Clinton referred to Jennifer Flowers as, quote, trailer trash, and that Clinton undertook a, quote, aggressive campaign to go after Flowers. Years later, I did interview Jennifer Flowers, where she described her affair with Bill Clinton and how she feared for her safety. Watch this. I regret very much that I have had to go through and the country has had to go through what it has gone through in the last several years. There were times when he wanted to be intimate, when Hillary would be close by, and I wouldn't because I was more concerned 
mm. with the circumstances. I personally yeah. feel that if I had not become public when I did, even though I had not planned it, that I wouldn't be sitting here talking with you now. I think something would have well, happened to me. I think most of the women yeah. that have been involved with Bill Clinton have told